FYI, last minute cruise, going on Carnival Liberty for three days, super cheap, but because it was last minute, we have to drag in our luggage because we don't have a room number still, which is kind of odd, but we couldn't check in our bag because of no room number. So now we're standing here waiting to check in and um, you know, at the little table is how they do that. And the woman saw that we didn't have a room number, so here she comes now. Hopefully she has a room number. Bye! So now we're being escorted to, I don't know where, I guess over here now to get a room number. So was this cheap? Yes. Is this a pain in the, you know what? Yes. But here we go. Let's see what happens here. Let's see, let's see, oh, we're gonna have a seat in here in the captain's lounge. How do we know when we get a thing? I don't know. Find a seat and they'll come find you. Okay. Somebody will just come find us? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Somebody's just gonna come find us. Alrighty, we'll see about that. See how long we wait, I'll let you know. Lounge, just waiting for somebody to come get us. Which so I didn't grab my. She came and got our travel documents and she has to go make a copy. So, again, it was a great deal, but a little bit of a hassle. I guess, unless you're lucky when you, when you book and they assign your room right away. So, I don't know. I don't know if that happens. It could. Anybody else has done a last minute and received um, your room right away. So, I think she's still waiting for her room. Anyway, let's see what time is it. It's 11.44. What time this whole process start? What time did we get over here? About 10.30, quarter of 11. We tried to check in our bag. Couldn't check in our bag because we didn't have a room number. So we had to wheel it, wheeled it told us to get in line, check in priority, checked in priority, then told us couldn't check in because we didn't have a room number, then got escorted in to inside the facility, then told us to sit in the captain's lounge, then somebody came to take my passport and Gabe's ID to go make a copy, and she hasn't come back. So... A good 45 minutes later, we're still not on the ship, I'd say about. And I might get more. But, and in the captain's lounge, it's nice, comfortable seating, but nothing to drink, nothing to eat, a bathroom, and... Okay, so now, again, escorted on the ship, we're taking our luggage. We still don't have a room number, so we get on. She gets us on because they don't have our picture. Then we get on, we do what we want. They call me and um, once we get called, then we gotta go to guest services to get our key. What a fiasco. Your master station is marked on your boarding pass as a letter.
of us came and I get on the ship on the first day. Obviously, we're still on the ship, but guess what? How screwed up is this, right? I'll keep you guys posted, but we're still here. It is now 1.12, and we still have a room. Can you imagine if they have to escort us off the ship? Wow, that'll be crazy. But we have a couple great bartenders. I'm not going to mention her name because we're kind of hooking us up. 1.36, just found out we have a room. So we are not boarding the ship because we've been on it, but we are hooked up and have a room. So now let the party start. Not like we haven't really already started the party, but the party will really start now. So it is now 1.37, so that took 10.30 this morning. It's a long, but you know what? I mean, Gabe and I paid $356 and had $100 on our credit and had to just kind of go through a little stress. I'm not gonna lie, it was stressful, but. Gabe and Stephanie got their room. And it is the first time in an interior. We're gonna see how this goes. Our interior room that Linda and Samantha did not show up for. We're gonna go, I think, get something to eat and drink. Bye.